So we're heading back to Barber Motorsport Park. It's the Barber Classic Weekend, where they take the bikes and cars from the museum and actually race them. They've got other races as well. Uh, I think they're doing a Porsche GT race. First, however, I need to go help somebody. Unfortunately, it's taken me in the complete opposite direction from where I want to go. But we'll get there. In the paddock, taking a quick look round, and came across this little beauty. I just missed one of the Lotus races and here they are at the back end of the paddock just driving back to the display area Bit of a shame, they don't exactly go extremely fast but they're a nice car to drive around, very manoeuvrable and great and if you look right at the back there the silver one, that's not actually a Lotus, that is a DeLorean. I'm assuming the DeLorean won it, it just needs to hit 88 miles an hour, go into the future and come in first place. Next race up was post GT Cup race. This is everybody getting ready before they go out. Just milling around, cracking jokes, not having a beer, however. Took, so took a small break from the racing and went to have a look at the display areas. This whole area was fairly much dedicated to Lotus. I don't think I've seen so many lotuses in one place.
even more lotuses. The whole right hand side of the display area was just jam packed with different types of lotus cars. Just listen to the engine on this. So back round to the paddock area to see what we can see. These aren't actual Formula 1 cars, these are the Formula 3000s, just a level down. One for all you Mustang fans out there. I'm not sure if you can actually read the sign, but... This guy just actually pulled out of the race, there was something wrong with the car. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with him, though. He's having a hard time getting out of the car. This, of course, is a very old and very expensive Ferrari. Absolutely gorgeous. Not the quickest car around, but it's, I don't know, 40, 50 years old. In action. This one was a bit unfair. You had an old NASCAR versus some other old classics. The NASCAR was unrestricted back then. It just chewed everybody up. This 
is an actual Lotus Formula One car from the 80s. And there's another one right next to it. Mr. Barber actually owns these. There's a Tyrrell next to it. These are actually raced Formula One cars. They were donated to his museum. And yes, they will be racing these. Loved this camp so much, I had to go back and get another shot of it with a better camera. And back to racing. This was one of the post GT races. Apologise for the camera shake. My GoPro, which I usually film little clips with, I'd run out of battery, so this was actually filmed on the one DX. I wasn't expecting to film on that, so things are a little bit on the shaky side. I apologise. As you can hear, there's actually trophies involved. Second, the number 47 of John Crossy. And third, the number 50 of Kathy Mead. Race drivers may be able to race, but they can't count to three. First to the middle. Depends. Usually the podium goes one, two, three. Wait a minute. He has, wait a second. He has the wrong hat on. Renee, that hat has the number one on it. I think that's the one you want. Let's not play Hamilton. Uh, yeah. I picked that one up. Hat dance. Thank you. And the winner in the first sprint heat today goes to Kurt Swearingen. Congratulations, gentlemen, for you're in the middle. I'm going to eat it with you. <laughs> nice job. Oh, there's Josie back right there. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Great race out there. And if you like that, they're going to do it again this afternoon. Whoops, don't think he's meant to be facing that way. Or playing in the sand either. Actually missed the spin, he went off backwards as you can see into the gravel trap and got beached.
and it was very much at this point that everybody's phones started going off with warnings of lightning in the area, heavy rain showers on the way, etc. So barbers actually shut down the event for essentially the rest of the day. On the way back to the car, I got absolutely soaking wet, completely drenched. But that's the way it goes. It was meant to start raining at 11 a.m. It didn't actually start until 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon. So, plenty of time for a good day out. 